Hi guys and welcome back to another Sailor Moon review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the series 2 of the Compact Gashapon and I'm so excited about these. These are so pretty and I hope I get good ones and there's nothing defective about my set. I had to order these through J-List, but I think you can look out and find them currently anyways on eBay if you're looking for just certain ones. I know they can be kind of expensive. Any of the Gashapon really can be kind of expensive trying to buy them separated from the set. It's way more cheaper just getting the whole set of five and then just maybe selling the ones you don't want, but I know that's kind of time consuming. so. It's really up to you but I got these because I absolutely loved the first set I actually love those ones so much I actually bought two of them so then I can display them in two different ways I actually put them in a frame if you're ever interested in seeing that review I do have it here on YouTube as well I'm gonna take these out so hopefully they don't roll away on me but when I order stuff from J-List, they always give you the Gashapon capsules, and they look just like this. I don't mind it that much, but I do prefer to not get the capsules because they are kind of a pain to get off. And I get the Gashapon out of them. I always have a hard time with that. I always have to use a knife because it's just way more easier on me. But let me get these out of here real quick and then we'll take a look at each one of the Gashapons. So this one actually came in a turned one. I don't know why, maybe it's because of the design of it but it's definitely different from the other ones <laughs> for whatever reason so here's the little pamphlet that all these come with as always it shows really beautiful stock images of the whole set of these and that's always nice I do like getting these and then these are the stick and rod wands that kind of go with these all right, first we'll take a look at this one. I guess I have to cut these open because they're sealed. So here is the Star Locket one. And as you can see, it's very shiny. You can just see everything <laughs> with it. But it looks just like the toy version and even the re-released 90s version. There is like a little clasp back here. And this is, of course, all my fingerprints, I do believe. I don't know. There might be a little imperfection in the gold. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it wants to come off, does it? But um, it does have a little fake turning clasp back here. It does spin. And these are... Oh, yeah, you can open these. And you can use a little trigger back here, I think. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It just spins. You have to spin it here, I guess. But that is what it looks like. And it's very, very shiny. It's a really good replica of our smaller version of the toy version. If you can't afford that one. The only problem with this is they didn't include like a little loop here or anything to hook it. And since these are Gashapon, you will see some imperfections here where they snap the plastic from the mold so these won't be as nicely presented as the toy version but it is a downgraded <laughs> cheaper alternative so that's really up to you but that's the star locket one and I guess we'll do this one next this one is the Prism Compact for Shibuyusa. And this one's pretty nice. I don't see any flaws on it right off the bat anyways. I mean, it's a little like the molding's not perfect here. 
But other than that, it's a really nice, smaller version of her compact. And now I can open it. And this is just a little sticker to take the film off the mirror here if you wanted to. The molding inside is not perfect. Can you see how like choppy it is? It's not that great, but oh well. And then here is a molded version of the inside. And you can get a nice picture of Nia Quinn Serenity here and put on there if you wanted to. And these do open up, so there's a little compartment underneath to store stuff. I'm glad that they made these white. Last time they made them yellow, so it was a little more difficult if you wanted to paint them. But these being white is way, way better. So if you're one of those crafty people that want to actually paint the inside to make it more accurate, it's totally a choice. But yeah, very, very pretty compact. I do like that one. And I get this one. This one is my favorite compact ever. I actually have the Proplica of this and I have yet to, <laughs> to review it because uh, I'm, just, I'm just slacking, guys. Slacking. But bear with me. But here it is. And the first set had the pink version and this one is the red version. And I really like the red version a lot. Now, as you can see right here, Look at that imperfection right there. But I was expecting that with these. I'm always getting gashapon that are not quite perfect, but yeah, see right here. But you can touch those up with gold paint to make them a little less noticeable. But it's very pretty. I do like the red tone on this versus the pink. So uh, here's the inside, and this one's pink up here and white down here. Pretty nice, and then you can open it up. And there's the inside to store some stuff if you want to. Very, very nice though. Look how shiny it is, but you will get little imperfections in the paint on these because they're cheaper. But there's that one. And we'll look at this one. I don't know what the name of this one is, guys. I can't even remember. It's like Sailor V's little crystal or little uh, crescent moon thing that she uses to attack enemies with. But I don't know what the name of it is. This is really nice. I don't remember these being on the original 90s toy. Like this like moon shaped hinge. I thought I was rounded off on the other one. I'm pretty sure. But this one's a lot more gold than my old 90s version. Really nice. Let's see if I can open it here. Okay. Cool. So there's no real designs in here. That's the compartment for whatever you want to store. And here is the ring. Or a fake ring <laughs> to, to resemble the ring that came with the old old toy version. But yeah, that doesn't come out. That's in there. But I like how pretty it is. It's very shiny. And it's pretty nicely decorated. I do like the additional little crescent moons there on the hinge. But yeah, look out for defects, guys. If you are <laughs> a little bit OCD, I guess. I am a little bit. But that's something to look out for. If you are that way, then you might want to pass on these because they are never perfect. I've never gotten a perfect Gashapon compact. I think the stick and rod ones are better than the compact versions, but they are pretty from far away. <laughs> but, yeah. So here's the last one. This one is the internal article and this one is probably everybody's favorite from this set because we don't have much stars merch yet and this compact alone the 90s version is very very expensive like three to five hundred dollars depending on condition but let's see it does look really nice I don't see any problems with it I mean the occasional common stuff but yeah the colors are really nice 
the gems are all there and they do come with these extra little wings so open her up and this one is the one that's colored inside and mainly because you can see it through the top but there's the inside there nice rainbow effect i like it here's the bottom oh this one is completely clear or translucent so you could put like a little light down here if you wanted so let's get these little wings on here if i can hold on to them so this one goes over here snaps on and then this one goes over here it's kind of like the other one the uh, supers locket that you got it had wings you had to attach when you got it but yeah there's the whole thing together and this one's really impressive it's probably the best one out of the set for sure just by details alone because obviously this compact is the most detailed of all of her compacts so but yeah there they are so i'll get them on the stand so i'll show you how i'll display them so here is the entire set of five of the series two compact gashapon and they look really cool this will most likely be the way i'll display them in my collection I got these stands on Amazon and you can find them pretty easily on there. You do have to buy a package of I think like 10 or 12 something like that. But they're really handy to have for your compacts. They can be posed in different ways. I usually put some elastic on the bottoms just to keep them from opening completely on certain size uh, compacts. But they look pretty amazing. But thank you guys so so much for checking out my video today. And I will see you guys in the next Sailor Moon review. Alright, bye.